Hello my name is Katie, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my NaNoWriMo project in the NaNoWriMo AuthorTube tag. This tag was created by Natalia Lee back in 2018. Um, I do want to find a newer one or create my own. I want to talk more about my project, but um, I'll go ahead and do this one for now. How many times have you participated in NaNoWriMo? How many times have you won? I actually started, I think, back in 2018. I might have already done this video, honestly. <laughs> um, I think I started my YouTube channel. Maybe it was, ooh, was it 2017 or 2018? Okay, yeah, I think 2018 was my first nano because I started my channel, I think, in December 2017. I need to go look that up. Holy heck. <laughs> I think I'm on my, what anniversary am I coming up on? I started in December because I wanted to do those tags, the Christmas tags. Ooh, I don't know, but I have won every single nano. Um, I even try to do 50K during camp nano sometimes, and I've done that a few times. Um, but yeah, Nano, I always try to have a new project to work on or completely rewriting a project because I want to give it my full kind of draft attention versus revision. Are you a pantser or a plotter? I am middle. I try to plot as much as I can, but I definitely pants all the in-between, um, like from beat to beat, uh, what characters say. And I love the free flow of that because sometimes it leads to other things. Sometimes I get like really good breadcrumbs to leave along the way and I absolutely love that freedom. And even when I plot, usually I have to do a revision rewrite because my plot like it could be better and I think of that afterwards or my critique partners think of it afterwards and so even if I plot that like really doesn't mean anything. I want to show you all my shirt my friend made. Not one in progress. Do y'all have any like writing merch or clothes? Can y'all drop that in the comment down below? What are the titles of the projects that you have attempted, completed for past nano? I've written my goals, um, my summer of risks, a dark YA fantasy. Ooh. I wrote Project Emma during a camp nano. So I'm not gonna count that. And I might have written 2018, 19, 20, 21. Oh, okay. 18, 19, 20. Okay. So that's three. That's my three. <laughs> so this uh, nano, I'll be writing um, an adult book. And it's a contemporary romance. I'm really not sure it's plot at all at this point. <laughs> but I have uh, an idea of where it starts because I have a mashup of two like shows and movies that I'm kind of basing it off of. So that's going to help my brain like track it. So what are you working on for this nano? Um, so I just said, <laughs> oops. Um, but yeah, I am excited. I don't think, yeah, I definitely won't finish the draft during nano. I still hope to hit that 50k, um, but we will see. I, I think adult is a little bit harder for me than it is for a young adult, but um, I'm really hoping to hit it. I just have definitely got to plot a little bit better. Uh, figure out more of the lies and how to connect all the beats to the end. So no worries. <laughs> we got time. What is the one tip that you'd give someone else that is participating in NaNo? I have a lot of videos for tips if y'all want to check those out. But um, one tip if you're participating in NaNo is just keep going, I guess. <laughs> Just keep writing words, whether they're good or bad, whether they fit the story or not. Like, again, at the end, you're just going to revise it anyway. Try to keep chugging along, whether you have to leave place markers or just skip whole chapters, whether you have to skip around as you write your book. Um, whatever's going to help you if you're dedicated to hitting the NaNoWriMo goal. What was the inspiration for this novel? Do you remember when the inspiration hit you? I had just finished watching... Um, Oh my gosh, Falling in Love, was that it? Like I-N-N. -N. Um, and so that plus a TV show, and like one of my favorites, and I, and I had this mashup of where she starts her life over in the city, meets these crazy roommates, and um, I think it was from, I had seen a lot of wish lists from agents saying like we want non-traditional uh, like worker roles, like they were thinking, I don't know if it was the, when like Hot Dog Girl hit or whatever. Um, but like mascots, like different things, and so I was trying to think in that line, like what if she gave up this really awesome job and has to do this lowly job until she figures like something out, and so um, that's kind of the basis of that, and then I had this story where I was going to add in like a softball league, um, which I keep adding sports to my stories, and then the thing is, is like it needs to actually make sense and fit to the story, so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that or not, however, that's where she was going to find her 
group of friends and her love interest and all that stuff so I really need to see what's gonna fit and not fit in this novel again I only have like the first act like kind of figured out and it's probably way too short honestly read us the first sentence from your nano novel last year that has changed a ton that's my summer book that I just got done revising so oh I don't even know let me see if I can find an old draft I don't think it, this is it but it's the last like furthest back draft I can find and it's Harper, your mission, should you choose to accept, is to haze the new kid by getting him to say the word bedroom. <laughs> so that's actually, I think that's how the end ended up being. So I don't know. I know that wasn't my original, but it was similar. Like she did have to haze him in the beginning, but I don't think I kept that wording. I think it was different and like a I think she actually said the lines to him first off. Like, whatever she ends up saying, that was the original first line, I think. Okay, enough about that. What do you plan to do with your man manuscript after Nano? I can... Oh my gosh, words. I want to revise it. I'm going to let it sit for a bit, reread and revise. And um, while I'm drafting, usually I'll write out a summary, like do chapter summaries so I know what happens where. And I'll leave notes for myself for any like specific descriptions or things that I need to remember throughout the book. But um, typically I will revise it after. And all of these are the goal to get traditionally published. So this would be um, one of two adult novels that I'm trying to write this year. So I'll have my young adult backlog and start on my adult backlog and hopefully someone will represent me and we'll just release all the books. <laughs> I know a lot of people that just write for the sake of writing, like my um, YA dark fantasy. I don't know if that's ever going to get published or revised or anything, but it was really fun to write for that nano. Are you prepared for nano? Obviously not. I don't know what my story plot is at all minus the beginning so I need to figure that out ah uh, I do like her roommates I have figured them out um but yeah like nothing else <laughs> so are you nervous a little bit I would like to figure that out so that I don't get stuck um I did do a couple of videos before this one about trying to get unstuck and I have other videos from like previous years about that as well so there's a plethora of nano I think I even have a playlist of it if you want to go check those out but yeah a little bit nervous hopefully preptober I have figured some stuff out but um, yeah definitely gonna need to figure some more stuff out <laughs> I think it was last year I did the Excel like various plotting um, activities and figuring out my characters so I need to go back and do that again for this project but yeah, that's the whole tag. Um, I do kind of want to be vague about my project, so I guess it's good there weren't more specific questions. But let me know about your project down below. Let me know if you have any questions that I might answer about my project. Um, I'm trying to keep it hush-hush, which is why I didn't mention the TV show that this is also based off of. Um, but yeah, I just, yeah, I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun if I can figure out the rest of the story. <laughs> good luck prepping your own story. Good luck with NaNoWriMo. And I hope to see y'all uh, in the middle or at the end of NaNo to catch up on how it went for you guys. Be sure to check out my website for blogs that might be helpful and other videos on my channel. And I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye!